We're here with a very, very interesting character, Brendan Barrett, six-time ring of combat heavyweight champion. G g tell me what you got. I got the uh, XFE heavyweight belt, the Locked in the Cage heavyweight belt, the Raging Warriors heavyweight belt, and I defended the Ring of Combat heavyweight belt three times. And then I got the last couple of Naga tournaments I did, I got two two-time heavyweight Naga champion. You believe that? Is this unbelievable? And he's, he's humble, too. He's very humble. And here's what I find amusing about the whole thing. He doesn't look like he gets hit at all. And I'm trying to figure out. The ears aren't cauliflowered up. There's no scars on the face. What's up? What's up with that? Well, I realized a while ago that I get paid to fight, not to get hit. So if I can get in, knock people out, and get out without getting hit, then I get paid the same, right? I guess so. I mean, uh, that's definitely a, a goal that I would like to have. Um, were you, you just showed me something. Why don't you pull that up? He's the only fighter, MMA fighter, that was with in Oprah magazine? Actually, uh, I think, to my knowledge, I think I'm the only fighter ever that was, close in, up on this that was in Oprah magazine. Here's a picture. Uh, Check it out. Look how cool that is. From my Twitter, me and Oprah. Zoom in on that. This guy's got it going on. This was in Oprah magazine. Let me see. That was in Oprah magazine. So he's got it going on. And, and he was just telling me something interesting. He actually was debating, were you in law school or something? No, I was my senior year in college. I double majored in accounting, business administration, and had a minor in finance. I was my senior year. I was about to graduate, about to apply to law school. And I took a study break and was sitting at a red light. Girl picking up her cell phone, plowed into the back of me, drove me in the car in front of me. I ended up not graduating on time. My back was all messed up. Used up all my scholarship money, my financial aid, was struggling to get back to college. And uh, it was an uphill battle. I was miserable. I looked back, said the only thing that ever made me happy was competing. A lot of soul searching, a lot of meditating. Next thing I knew, I said, I guess I'm going to start fighting. Walked into a fight, knocked a guy out in 25 seconds, even though they recorded it as, I think, 45. It was 25 seconds. Found out two weeks later it was a pro fight and never turned back. That's pretty awesome. What's up next? Believe it or not, ironically, uh, I, I, I started developing a passion for boxing a couple years ago, even though I'm a wrestler by trade and background. I've um, been really interested in making the transition into boxing. Yeah, and I'm actually talking with some, uh, one of the major boxing promoters right now. I'm not really saying any names. Still early stages, trying to see what, uh, what they may, may or may not want to do. But uh, there's a good chance that the next fight you see me in may be a uh, boxing fight. I find that fascinating. You're going to choose boxing over MMA because like, it's like the first time I've heard that. Well, I mean, I, to be honest, I mean, I, I'm not trying to downplay anything else, but I think a lot of the respect um, in the sport and the industry itself at the higher levels is starting to dwindle as opposed to people just want to talk trash, try and market themselves, try and be a regroup, outlet, uh, you know, Ali or something. And you look at the, uh, the history and the, the, the really the respect and everything that's in boxing, it's, it's a lot more appealing to me as someone who fights because they love it not because they have to. See, I found, I have almost the opposite opinion. I grew up boxing. I mean, I watched every boxing match there is. And as I got older, and I started, I, I started with UFC 1, okay? Once I saw that, that I was hooked. Well, and and boxing, I just couldn't watch anymore after that. Well, you know, I think people aren't uh, watching boxing so much because they want to see knockouts. And that's why they always say the heavyweight division drove boxing, because the heavyweights knock people out. And if I'm knocking guys out in MMA and not getting hit, let me fine tune my striking skills a little more, even though I'm a wrestler, and the, and the pace, the aggression, and the, everything that I bring from MMA, I bring that into the boxing division as a heavyweight. I don't think that aggression has been seen since the guys like Tyson. So if I can translate that over into boxing, I, I think it's going to be very exciting. It's going to rejuvenate a lot of things. And, uh, you know, they've been waiting for an American heavyweight. They got Wilder that just won it recently, but... I mean, that fight wasn't exactly, I wouldn't call, have called it exciting, even though he did what he had to do and won. Uh, a white American heavyweight, you would make a lot of money. I, I never, that might be, well, I, it's a, be I, I will say this. I, I never had the thought of money in my mind when I started fighting. But you get a little older. I've been sacrificing so much for so long. I've seen all my friends, you know, I went to college with and everything else. They're buying houses, they're buying new cars, they're having kids, they're having families. And I'm sitting there still struggling, putting every single dollar and dime I have back into my career to make something and provide for a family I don't have yet. 
because I'm, you know, I'm still a nomad all over the place. Doesn't give you much stability. And you get a little older, you gotta start saying, I wanna have something and settle down one day. And what's the best way that I can provide the most I possibly can for a family one day? And if you look at MMA, most of these guys, unfortunately, are retiring, and they got to do everything else, and it had a great experience, but you take some of the boxers at the same level, and they don't ever have to lift a finger again if they're smart with their money. It wasn't about money to start, but you get a little older, and that does play a factor. You know what? That's a phenomenal perspective. I appreciate the interview. Thank you. I appreciate That's an awesome perspective. Thank you. Wow. I said I fight because I, I choose to, not because I have to. I love it. Good luck, man. Thank you very much. Awesome.